Okay, so now we are going to be making the center ribbon. So grab your little little piece of ribbon there. Now we are going to do exactly like we did with the first ribbon, but we're only going to do two loops. So again, fold it over. So you've got that little loopy there. Fold it under. So it lines up at the base, but comes out at the side like so. Then again, fold it over. Now you might have to do this. Oh, actually, mine's pretty even enough. Okay, and then you just fold the other one under. I mean, like I said, I don't measure mine, so I really don't care how it looks. So I've got a little bit of a gap there, but if you want yours to write up, by all means, measure it, but I don't really care. So we've got two loops that should look like that. Again, we'll get your the hair clip, clip it in place, and we're going to do the exact same thing we did with the big ribbon, and we're going to stitch the center. Okay? So, I'm just going to grab my needle and thread here. Okay, not in the end. And start stitching. So, again, we start off like this and stitch little stitches rows. So, all the way through that center. Okay? So, that's how we do that. So okay, so I'm almost finished. I'll show you guys what it should look like. Okay, so now I've finished showing. I'm going to take the clip off my head of my hair bow. Thread all tangled in my hair clip here. Okay. So again, it should look like that. Now again, you are going to pull the thread so that it makes that gathered center. And again, you're going to wrap the thread around the center like so three times, like we did with the previous bow. And okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to put the needle through the center of the ribbon, like so. Push it through, bring that tight, and around. Back through the center, like so, and on the other, around the other side. And now you tie that off. Okay? So, just there with me. so you don't loop it around the, the ribbon loop so then you'll have to start again if you wreck it okay so you cut the excess thread off and your bow should look a little something like that now this bow is going to sit in the center of the bigger one we made earlier so it's going to look like that okay so what we do now is now that we've done that we will be attaching the bows together. 